Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 6th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Still some pretty active regions right now, giving us quite a bit to look at from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Have been documenting over the last couple days some pretty strong M-class solar flares, and we've seen some C-class solar flares as well. Having a look here, the last 48 hours of imagery, notable on the left-hand side, large plasma filament directing from the surface, and as well amongst new sunspot regions turning in. Having a look at outgoing regions here, this is the right side of our sun. Most of this action turning away from us. We did have a sizable solar event on the back side of the sun and as well notable events here at the last 48 hours of images. Uh, M-class solar flare there, solar flare on the top right hand side. And then another one earth facing there and recently there watching that plasma filament dance around the southern hemisphere. Amazing images here of our pretty active sun into solar cycle 25. Notable in multi-spectrum all of the last 48 hours of events. Some pretty strong and long plasma filaments stretching across the southern hemisphere right now. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. We are expecting some space weather events here over the next couple days solar influx incoming having a look at 171 angstroms here this is where we will see active seven sunspot regions and give a quick shout out to all of you watching right now thank you so much for pressing play and as well joining the morning dew daily events worldwide family here keeping humanity aware and prepared Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about right now. Minor radio blackout impacts are expected. Solar winds coming in at 425 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, hopping up in the strong C-class solar flare range and as well one M-class solar flare the last 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to about KP3. And then ISWA space prediction spiral here showing a massive CME taking off from the backside of our sun. Luckily, this was not an earth facing event because that was a massive CME. We've shown quite a few recently on our star, documented here with daily events worldwide. And all of the green and yellow is current space weather conditions. And when you get up into those pinks and whites and blacks, those are intense cosmic energy penetration. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing the last 48 hours of imagery, noting the last three solar flares that produced coronal mass ejections. One of them being right here. And as well, right there on the back side of the sun. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hour period. Brought to you by Walton Earthquake 3D. Not much to talk about really. It's been quiet for the past 24 hours. Under 200 earthquakes according to US GS and the largest here being a 5.8 Papua New Guinea. Notable 4.6 there up into the Indian plate, Indian plate Afghanistan. And as well, the deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 4.8 earthquake here, North Korea, but 636 kilometer depth. That's a very deep earthquake for the region. North Korea not really seeing many earthquakes or reported there. Notable 5.2 earthquake here in Tanzania, Africa. 5.0 there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Ascension Islands, north of Ascension Islands. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. 
Lots of activity there. Puerto Rico. And as well, notable activity up into Alaska. And as well, Chalice, Idaho, reporting a 3.3 magnitude earthquake there. But no major swarms to talk about. Activity coming back to Hawaii today. Overlooking satellite imagery here. Huge plume of smoke, wildfire smoke uh, spreading through Alberta and now into the United States. And then overlooking the Atlantic Ocean as we have five tropical storms that are spinning around our North Atlantic right now. One is off the coast of Senegal, Africa. And as well, we've got Katia, tropical cyclone Katia. It's a remnant low. We've also got a tropical storm Lee and extra tropical storm franklin is still alive getting ready to head into the uk and western europe and then we've got extra tropical storm Adalia, who is heading back into north american continent hitting the atlantic provinces of canada and look at the path of Adalia coming out of the gulf and now racing back into the atlantic provinces of canada quick look here versus the Pacific as seeing things a ramp up there as well as there are five tropical storms here so 10 tropical storms across our planet right now to talk about two of them here we've got Kurogi and as well we've got Hana Haiku we've also got tropical storm Goring that's been hanging around northern Philippines, getting ready to go into southern Taiwan as well. Thailand. Just some crazy days on our planet right now, everybody. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared. That's what this is all about, sharing the information of our planet. Satellite imagery, major storms, and as well, major changes on our planet. As we go through them as together. So thank you for watching. Having a look here at windy.com showing the next five days for weather forecast across North America. Low pressure system affecting most of Eastern Canada and the United States. Watch for pop-up extreme weather events, supercell actions, pretty much Ontario and southward into the States. Got lots of rain heading into parts of Northern BC and the West Coast. And eventually that will stretch more Southern more southward towards the Washington border. And then long range forecast, the big low pressure system here heading into Eastern Canada. And then we've got another tropical system here developing in the long range, most likely turning into a category three or four hurricane heading towards Northern Bahamas. Long range forecast here brought to you by windy.com. Interesting low pressure systems throughout the week here and as well a low pressure system off the coast of Portugal but big high pressure ridge locked in over Europe eventually will usher away the low pressure system in the Mediterranean daily evaporation rains through Africa and then long range forecast showing some intense weather heading towards the United Kingdom and Ireland as low pressure systems are gaining some strength and velocity and veracity in the northern hemisphere right now overlooking southeast asia the west pacific and australia monsoon rains continue through india high pressure ridge is locked in over australia for most of this long range forecast no real moisture in sight Long range forecast is seeing a few systems here develop in the central west Pacific and as well lingering through parts of India. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.